this is an addendum or extra information for Murty's Cottage. As you can see the driveway is pretty large so there's plenty of space for vehicles. And it's located along this very narrow and hilly country lane so be careful when you're driving. And if you're, if you're on a bike I'd recommend an e-bike because the hills are pretty steep. Um, there are a lot of posh houses along this way including the one at the top which is, must be um, several million euros. Like many of these rural cottages in Ireland you tend to find these uh, centrally heated uh, boilers which actually run on oil. Very unfortunate environmentally speaking. You can see the tank there. But fortunately in this cottage um, there is a heater in the living room which actually I find is more than adequate so you don't have to use it if you don't want to. The shower is not instantaneous. It's actually fed from the immersion heater tank. So remember to turn on the immersion heater if you want to have hot water when you're showering. Now although this microwave oven is ancient, it does have a grill and it works well. The power level is 850 watts. The hob is electric and it uses these ceramic type infrared elements. Now you pay for electricity via this prepayment meter, which takes two euro coins. Um, now I found there was a credit of two and a half coins, which is about five euros, and it appears she charges 10 euro cents per kilowatt hour, which is equivalent to a credit of 50 kilowatt hours, which is way more than I would use. I would typically use about five to 10 kilowatt hours in a given week. So that's more than enough. But if you do run out of coins, the owner living next door does have some on hand if you need them. Now I mentioned heating before, and this is a heater in the living room. And given the small size of this living room, it heats everything up very quickly. Albeit a little noisy. For TV, there's a satellite box with all the usual channels. And there is terrestrial TV with about a dozen, a couple of dozen or so uh, uh, channels, uh, mostly RTE and Virgin Media. Um, the reception is excellent with no glitches. Now, despite being nettled in the hills, uh, radio reception is possible. Um, but there is no radio in the house, so you'll have to use your own. Um, but there are quite a few uh, stations available. Now, mobile reception, on the other hand, that's a completely different story. I find that, and she finds as well, that mobile reception is poor depending on the network. Now, I found that three network works the best here in the bathroom and so that's the way I do it. I, I, I put my uh, phone here and then I then turn on hotspot mode and then that enables Wi-Fi for everything else, including streaming to the TV. In fact, you can actually see 1080p video on YouTube. So it actually works well. And I can also watch movies at full speed. I typically get about a six to 10 megabits, which is more than enough for HD movies. Um, so I'd recommend three. Um, preferably with unlimited data if you're streaming video. Um, but you do have to be careful about reception um, and it all depends, it's very network dependent. Oh, just to add that the reason why I mentioned all that thing about uh, mobile is because there is no Wi-Fi here. So if you want Wi-Fi, you'll have to provide your own. <laughs> 